<laughs> if you guys are planning to buy my merchandise for Christmas this year for a present or for yourself or for whoever it is, if you guys want it on time, you guys have to order right now just because my shipping may take up to two weeks throughout North America. Outside North America, it can run up to three weeks for it to come, guys. Also want to take this time to thank each one of you guys for going out there, purchasing my merchandise and supporting me. Nothing to it now. Let's get into this. Life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? <laughs> well, if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to subscribe here, like this content, click on the bell. Be a part of the notification. Bang! Chicken nuggets are done, chicken bites are done. All we're missing for this year are chicken strips. Let me show you how to make it. First things first, I got five chicken breasts here, which I'm just gonna cut down into my chicken strips. Once you got that nice and cut down to your nice chicken strips, let's marinate our chicken. So I got half a cup of water going in, one tablespoon of seasoning salt, half a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm just gonna give this a mix, and rub it all in. I'm gonna let this sit for one hour, guys. For the first batch of batter, guys, we got plain flour. We got a wet coating, so I'm gonna do three eggs, one can of club soda, a cup of flour, one tablespoon of seasoning salt. You guys don't have to double this recipe, but I am just because I'm gonna make some Cajun fries. Beat that up. Half of this portion into another bowl, one for fries. One for chicken. Our last coating, this is gonna be our seasoning flour. So I got three cups of flour going in. Two tablespoon of paprika. Two tablespoon of onion powder. Two tablespoon of chili powder. And two tablespoon of cayenne. Two tablespoon of seasoning salt. Whisk that in. I'm gonna go half for my chicken, half for my fries. Next, let's cut our potatoes. How to make potatoes. You grab a potato, you grab your knife, you half that potato. After you half that potato, you take that other half and you half that half. Take that half of the half, you're gonna half it again. Take that half that you have, <laughs> and you're gonna half it again, guys. So this is your fries. So you can go even more if you want, but I think this size is perfect, or this size is perfect. Don't go any thinner than this because, I don't know, I don't like it. I'm just gonna rinse this. Shake up as much water as possible out because hot oil and water don't mix, guys. So please be careful. Everybody in the pool. We're gonna blanch this for about three minutes, guys. Three minutes up. I'm just gonna pull them out, guys. Last thing we're gonna make, coleslaw. So I got one bag of coleslaw mix right here. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of vinegar, one cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of sugar. I got celery seed here. Half a tablespoon of this going in. Beautiful clean hand. Get into it, guys. And let this marinate for the time being. Next, let's make some rolls. So I got one cup of warm milk here, one tablespoon of active dry yeast. I'm gonna let that yeast activate, but it needs to activate with this, guys. That good old creatine. Sugar, guys. Yeast activated, three tablespoons of butter going in. I'm gonna crack in one egg, followed by two cups of flour. Full clean hand, get into it, guys. All we're looking for, come on, we all know this, is a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making buns or toast. Once you got your dough nice and smooth, I'm just gonna saran wrap this. Let this proof for one hour. Bread has proof, get your bread scooper outer. And we're gonna gently scoop this out. Once you got this nice scooped out, I'm gonna flour my hand just because we're gonna do this, guys. We're gonna karate chop this into eight. Watch closely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't be a hater, guys, you know. That was sick. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, take one of the balls, I'm gonna pound it down with my palm and roll it up like a cigar. Got that nice and rolled out into our bread sheet pan. I'm gonna let this proof for additional one more hour, guys, before we start baking it. One hour proof, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some butter. We're gonna butter that top there into the oven at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes, guys. Guys, the most crucial part. So here I have vegetable oil here heating up for 10 minutes on a max. After 10 minutes, guys, I'm gonna drop this heat down to a five or six or a medium. I'm gonna wait five minutes. This is how it goes down, guys. So we're gonna take one of our chicken breasts or chicken filet, dip it into plain flour, into our egg wash, shake off any access into our seasoning flour, once you got it nice and packed, dust out any access, everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get it. Cooking time, guys, five to six minutes. Last batch of this coming off, guys. Hey, who's coming over to help me eat this? <laughs> There's a lot of chicken strips to go around, guys. 
All right, last thing, our Cajun fries. So for our Cajun fries, I'm gonna turn up the heat to a max. Remember our blanched fries here? Take my seasoning flour, dump it on top. Here we have our other side of egg wash, which we're just gonna dump in our fries. Once you got it nice and coated, everybody in the pool. I don't care if you can swim, just get in. Cooking time, five to six minutes, guys. Time to finally set this up, guys. So we got our Cajun fries as our bed. Once you got your fries on, we're gonna throw our chicken strips on. Guys, who's coming by to help me eat this? Huh? <laughs> Who is coming by? My side of coleslaw here. Guys, we don't even have room. I'm just gonna put it like this. Coleslaw, and some honey mustard, which is just honey and mustard mixed together. Buttery Texas toast in the back there. There it is, guys. This is my take on chicken strips with Cajun fries. Come on over. We have conquered all deep fried chicken stuff. So, <laughs> so we got fried chicken done. We got chicken wings done. We got chicken nuggets done. We got chicken bites done. Now we got, last but not least, chicken strips. So five things. Am I missing anything? I don't know. But let's start off with this, guys. Wet the appetite with this. Club soda. Quick tap. Nice, got it. Nice. I just love club soda. Or soda water, or tonic water. All right, let's dig into our coleslaw for us. Nice, take the first bite of this. Quick time. Nice, got it. Nice. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's good coleslaw. All right. Chicken finger lover. I'm gonna show you how good my chicken fingers are. Look at that crust. You can't beat that crust, guys. You just can't. I'm not sure if you guys like honey mustard, but I enjoy honey mustard on my chicken nuggets or my chicken strips. Take the first bite of this. Quick time. Nice. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. <laughs> So bombs. You can't go wrong with chicken strips. If you guys see that, there's bits of seasoning on there, which I love. Mmm, 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 mmm. Some of you may think the water thing is a weird thing. Try it. That half a cup of water just gets soaked into that chicken and makes it so juicy and good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Cajun fries. Nice cop. Nice. <laughs> a lot of people think that's weird. Eating something and drinking something out out there. I like it. <laughs> when are you guys coming by to help me eat this? Mmm. I forgot I had some barbecue sauce in there too. Mmm. Why go out and buy it when you know you can make it at home, guys? For cheaper. All this. I think I bought this all for. 
Mm. Mm. Twenty-two dollars. Where can you find this amount of food for twenty-two dollars? At home, there's where it is. At home, that's the only place. Mmm. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm gonna grab some barbecue sauce. All right, barbecue sauce time. This is the barbecue sauce I use for the honey barbecue, guys. Another bite of this. Quick time. Yes, yeah, got it. Nice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can't go wrong. Mmm. All right, I have one more strip. The reason I don't eat this all is because I'll overpass my sodium intake, my fat intake, all that goodness. I gotta save room for my veggies and my plain chicken breast after this. <laughs> what did I do? A lot of you guys ask what I do with all this leftovers. I just save it or I share some with my family or I just put it in another recipe. That's all. I could wrap this up right now or I can wrap this up next time. Mmm. I make a Caesar chicken wrap with this. That'll be very tasty. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. The brioche bun. So this is the bun, or just bread, guys. Just nice and soft and buttery. Nibble on that, guys. Quick time. Let's go. Yes. Mmm. Nothing beats a buttery bun. Mmm. Maybe I'll do that tonight for my ASMR channel. I'll eat a chicken Caesar wrap. Mm -hmm. It'd be crazy if I ate this all. You guys can come by and pick at this, guys. All yours. <laughs> I gave you a piece right there, Kitty. Why didn't you eat it? Come here. Come say bye to everybody. Sous Chef Kitty. Sous Chef Kitty. You want to help me wash dishes? <laughs> Life's such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food and life's a beautiful thing. Shirts, like this, share this. Peace out.